yeah, she, she, yeah. You take off the gag, and she starts just inhaling as much air as possible for the for the for her mouth. Okay. There is shouting up above, I guess. They'll do it. And one. I can just do this. For one side is down to two men. Nice. Not bothering with the counting. And that's five. Okay, not that wrong. Okay, and now it's. Yeah, it's over. Oh, it's not over. All right, is it? At plus eight. Yeah, it's pretty over. Yep. And it seems to have caught the what? Yeah, the upstairs combat seems to have calmed down a little. Yeah, you no longer hear the sound of fighting. Okay, we can take this off for a while now, and return to more <laughs> initiative-based counting. So yeah, so yeah, the the woman, you know, blonde hair, uh, long blonde hair, all wet, of course, sticking to her, the black robes, um, she's still tied up, both her legs and uh, both her hands and legs tied up, but in be in between gasps for air, she manages to say thank you. What was her name, Laura? Laura. Yeah. I, I ask her. I walk up to you her. Are, yeah. You are Laura, yes? She, she like nods. I untie her. Yeah, she, she like slumps onto her back and kind of looks up and just focuses on breathing, closes her eyes and calms down. Tries to calm <clears> down. <throat> I, I look at to... Roga or Roga or... And say in Draconic, shall we quill us some fish people? I proceed to look at him with raised eyebrows and just go, what? Draconic? What fish people? When did fish, when did like mermen attacking or just bandits? Bandits. And please do not attempt to think again because I would literally throw you into the water if you try to think again. You can give me a history check if if you want to know if there have been past fights with fish folk. Oh, never mind. I mean, if it were fish, because I was, I was kind of like assuming because it's a bitch, it's like fish bandits and not. No, Just no, those are regular human humans. Those are regular humanoid oh, okay, bandits. Okay, never mind. Then I didn't say that. And I okay. just go, like... Then I do not threaten to kill ill you for your stupidity. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't say that. I would just say, like, it's... It's kill us some bandits. I loot the loot. They looted. Do they, love? They don't carry that with themselves. And we're only getting maybe paid for saving this woman. And if the caravan f survived, they're probably looting the corpses right now. So they still... We still need to kill the caravan, or at least beat yes. the hell out of them for kidnapping this woman. Are you talking Are in we... common? No, Dracon. Okay, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I go just... Or we could let them alive, and once they... Kidnap her again. We can just get him again and get paid twice. <laughs> They're not gonna kidnap her again. They're gonna kill her. Too much trouble to kidnap someone twice. Also, I'm quite sure they would pay us handsomely if we brought back one of them alive or two of them. And we might even get to keep the coal and sell it. Alive. I just, I just uh, la laugh after saying alive and walk off towards them. You can't nice. interrogate corpses. So you climb back up and, or you come back up and go to the bridge to the caravan. Well, I hook my arm under Laura, carry her with us, and 
make sit her down under the bridge, then follow Sergio up to the bridge. Okay, you leave her there? Okay. Yeah, okay, so... under the bridge and tell her that don't move from here. We're gonna okay, figure so, out who the so, hell kidnapped her. As you are approaching the bridge, uh, as you are ap approaching yeah, the bridge, uh, one of the guards at the caravan can tell because he has a chainmail and is like blood splattered over it. Uh, he shouts down, Hey, you there! Are you okay? What are you doing here? They're okay. We were chasing after the bandits. I shout back up. Yeah. Make oh, they managed to get make away. Nip us. Well, too late, we I got slapped, him. I slapped Sergio on the back. But two of them got away. I shout back up as I proceed to move up. Wait, what? You said the two of them got away? Yeah, that's why I shouted back, lying horribly. Oh, where did they go? We didn't they see ran anymore. Away in the bushes. Oh, well, they saw their comrades falling, so they decided to leg it. Okay, come up here. It it should be safe up here. Take the girl with you. It's not safe. Oh, she <laughs> needs to catch her breath. She's fine here. No, it's not she safe scream. alone. Oh, she'll be fine. I need a minute, by the way. She'll follow us once she's alright, and she can scream loudly enough if there's any of them around. And she, she says towards you, I can, I can walk. I, I can... Yes, I can. I look at her and glare at her with the most stern of the looks I can muster at the moment. No, you can't. I would like you to... Can't. Uh, I want to be in arrest. front of him. What? Sorry, Kane, repeat. Once we are in front of him, I would like to... Well, you said it's two people, right? No, you saw one guy, but as you climb up, you see that there is in fact... Uh, how many would you see? Uh, click. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. You see four people up there, all dressed in chainmail, have various different weapons on them. Uh, yeah, like one of them was like leaning over and like shouting at you. Uh, one of them is like sitting and clutching his arm. You can see that it's like bleeding a bit. Like there's like two more just standing around. And one of them, one of them turns towards you. He's like some sort of insignia on his um, shoulders, and uh, he beckons you to come closer. You're the captain. I ask before approaching. How close are the the four people behind them? They're on the together. other side. They're on the other side of the bridge, so about seventy feet away from the, from your end of the bridge. Like the one guy is no. like, at the one yeah. They're all around the bridge, yeah, and the wagon. So five people on the four are like seventy feet behind the other guy. No, there's four people. You see four people. Like there's two. It's one by one. Uh, like who looked over and like shouted for you. One is like sitting down by the wagon and like clutching his arm, and there's two more just standing around, including one of them that was shouting at you. Yeah. I'll be right back, I need one minute. What do you mean? Do you actually need to go somewhere? Okay. I was... when... Yeah, I thought he was like gonna like. I thought it was in, in game, whatever. Nope. We have not taken a single break so far, so... <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm bad at it. But at this point, it's like we're almost done. Yep. Uh... It's half an hour, so... Well, we did take away one hour. It's fine. I hope someone joins us for the second session. <laughs> well... We can ham fist someone into the story, it's fine. Oi, get here, you fuck. It depends where you end, you know? If if you end here, it's like, oh, I was told by the guard captain to, like, come here and, like, help you look for her, you know? Like, depends where we end. Totally fine. That actually could literally happen, like, oi, adventure, be useful, you useless fuck. Mm-hmm. I sent two idiots that way, but there's six of them, so they're most likely dead. 
So you need to kill those who survived. I should have every single adventurer in this in Chazal are murder hobos. Eh, I'm sure there's some people who aren't. There is so. One or two. Chazal is too small. Is anyone still like into empires? Like I stopped frequenting the forums and I'm super out of sync now, out of the loop now. So am I. <laughs> forums, yeah. Fuck the forum. Oh, guys, go check out the store page. There's a new logo. It no longer says mod. That's nice. Uh, for empires? Yeah. Well, Kane's back, so... Yeah, let's, I, let's continue. I question my insignia man. Is he the captain? Before approaching him completely, I just close the distance halfway. Okay. Yeah. So you, you both approach him? I approach him halfway. Also, it's still says Empire's mod for me. Really? Oh, uh, anyway. The logo says, yeah, Empire's mod, yeah. I should refresh then. The name is also Empire's mod, yeah. It, the name is Empire's mod, but the logo is different. Whatever. So... Yeah, the logo is Empire's, yeah. So, 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 the, the one of the officer in Signa kind of crosses his arms and looks at you and says, So, what are you two folk doing here? Why, why don't you bring the lady up? Well, how close are the guys behind him? Uh, he's standing in the middle of them. And would you say like five feet apart from each other or...? Ten, fifteen. Well, you have to come up with a number now. <laughs> okay, so we some are ten. Some are ten. I know what he's thinking, so yes, we need exact okay, so numbers. So two of them are ten feet away, one is fifteen, and one is like twenty-five at the edge of the bridge. So if I fire brief them, I can hit three guys, not four. Okay. I just go about that, and then I spread some flames, I suppose. Um, you have to tell I... me what the range is, what it looks like, and all that. It's a fifty-foot cone. Fifty-foot cone. Fifteen-foot cone. I was like, yeah, fifty. What the hell? So you approach the, you approach the officer, or what? How do you approach? Well, I approach the spot. I can basically get three people. Alright, so you have to. So you walk past. Uh, you so you walk past one of them. You start approaching the officer, and you and you suddenly jerk to the side. And then you fire brief onto onto three well, folks, including one of the wounded ones. Yes. Yeah, but not suddenly. It's more like I say about that, and then I walk to the left, or right, or whatever. All right. Slowly and then just. Okay, so the so okay, so the one the guy wounded has a shield and a long sword. Yeah, he's sitting down. Uh, the officer has just a long sword at his uh, like at his belt right now, and um, the one that was shouting at you has a short bow. And one more, oh, there's one more, and uh, the last guy is holding a another sword and shield combo. So you brief on the officer and the two swordsmen, yeah? Shieldmen, whatever. Right. Yes. Okay. 16 is your two hit, right? I, and it's against their AC, It's right? DC 10 and That's DC 10 dex save for me. Okay, so they roll a, D so they roll a dex save on top of the attack? Wait, but no, no the attack is the damage. Just have to like. No, it does seven damage from what I see. <clears throat> it depends on what you, what kind of dragon you are. Oh, you do, you do six. Okay, yeah. yeah I was looking at uh, the 
Rogar thing. Okay, so you do six damage if they fail the dexterity save, yeah? Yeah, it's it, it just three oh, damage. Dexterity? If okay. they succeed. Okay, and success, fail, fail. So the officer succeeds. You take three damage. And uh, once I find their health place. Okay, so you have this much, and you have this much, and you have this much. Okay, so yeah, you, so yeah, you burn them, and they scream, and they shout, what the fuck? And roll initiative. I'm going to change this up a little. And you ice him at the same time, right? Hmm? That's, well, he ices them at the same time. First time he does that, I decide to indeed rush to the other side as I see him begin. First time I hear that, so it, yeah, roll initiative everyone. Officer, kind of like... wounded guy, swordsman, and bowman, right? And Laura is down below, she's gonna hear that, so she probably should be aware, right? Yeah. He's definitely going to be aware of it. Well, she knows it the moment we step on the bridge, but there. Yeah. Yeah, because definitely. who would go engage somebody that's so obviously hostile if you don't plan to fight? Okay, so you left her down below? Yes. Okay. Or at least I tried convincing her to stay down below, expecting this. Okay, okay. I'm just looking at their uh, initiative. Oh, there you go. In 20 plus 1, so that's officer, wounded guy. Swordsman, Bowman, Laura. 10, 11, you get an 8, you're 12, Laura's 13, Rolar's 13, Sergio is 14, and Rhaegar is 1. Rogar, sorry. 1. And I order you correctly. Okay. I like it, it's literally called Wounded Guy. Yeah, man. Okay, Sergio, you seize the initiative after the initial breath. So, who is next to me? Uh, one of the swordsmen. Sword and shoot guy. And the wounded guy is out of reach. Oh, uh, well, he's right. He's, uh, yeah, he would have to leave the guy's area of attack. So, you know. Okay, no, so. I mean, they're both, I... like, burning, burned up right now, so they're wounded. Sure, I'm gonna attack one of them. Okay, give me a roll to hit. That's a miss. It clings off the armor. Laura just Laura hears it and is unsure what to do. You don't see her. I don't know what she's actually doing. Maybe face plan. Maybe. Okay, Bowman. Bowman takes off uh, his bow and fires at Rogar. Assuming that the rest do have... have to do dexterity for that. Huh? He's firing. What's your AC? That would be... 11, I think. Yes. You take... So how many rounds did it take crit. to... Move up to these guys? You take I'm 10 dead. points. You're, you're down? Yes, I did. Wait, I have nine wait, 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 wait. He's within 5 feet of me, right? No, no, no. That's the bowman that you walked past because he was on the bridge. No, I mean... um. Um, who guys? No. Okay. Wait, wait. Where is Rogar? Actually, that's a good question. Because from my understanding, he was. Follow him. Yeah, we were walking side by side. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're you're right next to him. Sure. So basically, I can interpose my shield. And how does that work? Um, protection when you when you, a creature you can see attacks a target other than you that is within five feet of you. You can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay. You must be wielding a shield, which I do. Okay. Let's give him another shot. Uh, snap of that six. You take four damage, Ro Rogar, from the bow shot. Or that means I'm down to five health. Yay. And now is the wounded swordsman. He charges at the uh, Sergio. Uh, misses horribly. 
Now it's the officer's turn. He does the same thing. Uh, what's your AC? Mine? Yes. 18. Okay, that's a miss too. And the uh, other swordsman also misses. You so here. how many rounds did we need to walk across the bridge? One. It's a six. Oh well, yeah, it's a sixty-foot bridge, so it's not exactly. No. Okay, so I have one turn left of heroism. Okay. Oh no! If you were, uh, if you were walking slowly, as you would if you are out of combat, then you walk. You know, it takes you more time. Yeah, it would take more time. So okay, yeah, heroism is off right now. So yeah, that was officers, wounded guy, officer swordsman. You hear the clack of a crossbow going off. <laughs> oh. For fuck's sake. And a, and like a stifled like a shout of surprise. Let's go with that. Rogar. Loras. Loras shout of surprise. That's probably an important detail. Yeah. Okay. So Rogar, it's your turn. You can handle them, I say, as I tap Sergio on the back and proceed to. You are right next. You are right next, you are right next to two of them, so you're gonna take a tax of opportunity if you move. Well, I'm gonna take it anyway. So. Why don't you brief? I can't hit them. You can it's hit fucking cone. You can hit one of them. Yeah, but not all of them. That would be the point of the cone. That's tall. Actually, yeah, fuck. Is the wounded guy next to me? Uh, everyone is banged up after, or banged up, burnt up after the fire breath. No, specifically wounded guy. <laughs> wounded guy is far away from you. You're right, right next. You're you're facing the officer, and there's a swordsman right uh, uh, right next to you. The swordsman is dead on against uh, Sergio. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm going to attempt to stab horribly the officer, or slash him more precisely. Now I need a casual reminder what his AC is, thanks to me doing them having different weapons, I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, no, like chainmail, okay, yeah. Uh, hit. Yeah, That's six. Good. Yes, you do six damage, okay, so you drop him down. You, s you slash at an artery and he drops down, bleeds out, stops twitching after a moment. Sergio, your turn. Oh, there we go. So he's fucking dead. <laughs> That's a hit. I'm assuming you're using your sword, so give me the damage. Ten damage. Yeah, yeah. The swordsman is gone down. Remove them. Okay. Now it's Laura, and you guys see her uh, like str scrambling up the. Scrambling up up the slope, uh, the you know the coast on the opposite side of the bridge. Now it's the bowman's turn. Fires at uh, Rhaegar again. Once I learn how to type, your AC is eleven, right? Fine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So he misses, and now it's the wounded guy. He swings wildly at. Uh, uh, Sergio again misses as well, and uh, you hear another clack of the crossbow, and yeah, that's it. Rogar, your turn. So the guy is still standing. Who was facing him? You're currently free to move because the two people right next to you died. Oh, he died as well. Okay, no, no. Yeah. Um, I head towards the slope. Hmm? Okay. And do I see anything? Yeah, you see a crossbow. You, you see another uh, guard, like, <laughs> holding a crossbow and, like, trying to reload it. 
Is he he's like he halfway down. Like... He's halfway down the slope, which is uh, less steep on this side, not much more gentle. Could I reach him with, by dashing him? Yes, you can reach him. Not so much attack him, but you can reach him. He's just out of range. Oh for, boy! Uh, hitting you do him. Do not know what I have planned. I proceed to rush towards him, jump, and attempt to kick him in basically in the chest. That counts as an attack, you can't do it. God damn it, some way you don't let me do that. <laughs> it's I an attack. Drop kick him. It's an attack, you, you, you just uh, need to... Yeah, you, you can't attack the, the same this turn, he's too far away. But is he within 15 meters? Yes. Well then, his ass balls are gonna freeze off. Okay. I should roll the DC. Yes. Two damage. Two damage. Oh. Okay, so yeah, he takes one damage from the cold. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's... It's too difficult. Seems not very effective. Sergio? Sergio, it is your oh, turn. Shit. What do you yeah, do? Yeah, I'm a... You're facing one guy with a shield and there's like a bowman behind you. Yeah, well, I suppose the shield guy is not getting hurt by this, so... How often can we actually use this? But I, like, walk around the guy so the bowman is... Like, he facing ha the... Huh? You can't walk oh, yeah. around him because he has his... Oh no, you, yeah, 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 shit, simul, yeah, yeah. You walk around him and you have your back to the wagon. Yes, and not to the bow guy. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we can't, just side note, after you use your breath weapon, you can't use it again until you complete a short or long rest. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I know. Uh, I know, it's just that I see the guy who's shooting me, because he's getting shot in the back, like, it's it. not for everybody. Do you take any more actions? Because you can still take an action, uh, just walked around the guy. No, I attacked. Like, that's the seven. Oh, I wasn't looking. Okay. And since... <clears throat> since... Uh, Ruga is already out of reach, I can't do anything, so... Okay, Laura scampers off into the into the bushes and you lose track of her. Uh, yeah, the bowman, seeing that he can't really get a good aim, he starts backing up, like, positions himself roughly in the middle of the bridge and fires at Rogar, hitting him for two points of damage. I look at the woman running and I say, Stupid woman, now we have to chase her too. Okay, wounded guy's turn. He tries to slash at the... He, he, he like moves to the side of the wagon as well, so that you're visible to the bowman again. And he tries to attack you again with his sword. <laughs> no. Fumbling quite badly. And at this point I should probably add the crossbowman. Easier tracking. Alright. So he horribly missed uh, Laura. Yeah. And now he turns around towards you, who you just, like, you, who you just, uh, you try to do things to him, uh, frost breath him, and he, and he, he pu pulls his crossbow away a little, grabs his short sword and, like, lounges at you, tries to slash you, misses. Wait, it's your... does he, he rushes up? The slope to the bridge, then? No, you came towards him, right? To... Kind of. We just never agreed where did I stop. Well, you, you came closer towards him. It's like, like, you had to pass like 10 to 15 feet to get close to him. So you're at the edge of the slope, a little bit further away from the fight, and now he comes to you and he attacks you. Okay. And now it's your turn. Uh, he's too close to be drop kicked. It would actually have been hilarious if I drop kicked him. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Well, I would need to go away, then rush at him. <laughs> do I get to stab him? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, 
well, slash away at him, more precisely. Yeah. yeah, you hit him. You hit him and he takes six points of damage. Now it's Sergio. Sergio, it's your turn. And slash at the guy again. No. Bounces off the shield. Laura is not seen right now. Now it's the Bowman's turn. He curses suddenly, uh, silently, and tries to hit uh, Rogar. Yeah, he's, he's like, he has your flank, so it's fine. You're in melee, so that's your benefit. He misses. And now the wounded guy's turn. Tries to slash at Sergio. No. And now it's the crossbowman's turn. <laughs> he misses as well. Rogar, it's your turn. This is going better than I was expecting it to be. It's, it's going better than statistics, uh, than statistically. Better than statistically, yeah. I'm just going to fight away at him, try and murder him horribly. Or actually... It's 10 damage already on him, so... Actually, can I retract that action? Or not? Act yeah. Sure. What do you want to no. do? For what? a moment, what? Where the fuck is the dragon? Yeah, dragons have these big ass clawed feet. I'm gonna attempt to kick him in the chest instead. One of your claws? Yeah, basically the feet are gigantic claws. Okay, try. Strength check? I don't know. No, it's a normal attack roll. Uh, pff, the fuck is it gonna be then? Just roll 20. Why did you do that? Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanted to knock him off balance. Yeah, you, so you can... Nobody hits any, anyone anymore. Sergio, it's your turn. I'm quite low on health, so I would very much like to check the chances. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Nice sparring you've got going there. Now it's the Bowman's turn. He tries to hit uh, Rogar again. 2d20, d1 plus 3. Doesn't. Now it's the wounded swordsman that you're sparring with, apparently. You're not hitting anyone. And now it's the crossbowman. Crossbowman lands the hit. And you take 5 points of damage, right, Rogar. I fall down. <laughs> okay, give me a d20 then. Death saving throw time. Okay, that's one success. And you just slide. You slide down towards the shore. You stop yourself at the at the water level. Sergio, three v one, go. You're gonna take a fucking crossbow to the back. I gonna curse a bit. I gonna shove the guy in front of me or push him. That, that's an action. That's an action, yeah. Yep. And he's going to move, you know? Oh, you can move, right. Okay. If I succeed my strength check on him and he doesn't do it back, like athletics or dex, I think. Shoving a creature. Using the attack action. So you just make an attack. You make a special melee attack to shove a creature, either to knock it prone or push it away from you. Target of your shove must be no more than one size larger than the problem. Uh, you make a strength check contested by the target's strength, but you have to hit him first. No, using no, the attack action. No yeah, uh, you make a strength it's check contested by the target's strength or dexterity. Yeah, roll your strength check. Yeah, athletics action. Yeah, athletic. Eighteen. He gets a five, so you get to push, shove him, right? Yeah. He's gonna be shoved five feet back, and I walk over to Roga. Okay. No, using well, um. I guess you could vault off the bridge. Hmm. No, I'm can... down at the shore. Oh yeah. Yeah, Just... sure. So you basically vault on the bridge. So you, you, style. yeah, you, you're a little too far away to reach him this turn. You can like move towards him, and like stop. On the along the uh, along the, on the slope, but you can't reach him quite this turn. Next turn, sure, and you'll be have your action. Okay, not yet. I guess raise shield. But I use my attack. actions or whatever. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so that's your turn. Now oh. Laura is nowhere to be found. Wait, who are you facing? That's probably an important question. Sergio, who are you the, facing? Probably the ghost bowman, I guess. Okay. So the bowman comes comes to the top of the slope and fires at you. Uh, never mind. The swordsman in turn... Uh, yeah, the swordsman runs after you and tries to hit you as well. But he's too far away, right? Or does he have a faster speed than I do? Oh shit, this, yeah, you shoved him back. Now there's a person in the way. Okay, yeah, no, he doesn't. Uh, he... Yeah, you okay, you don't see this you, you don't see the swordsman right now. But the crossbowman takes a shot at you. The crossbowman already did. That was the first one. That was no, the bowman. The bowman. Yeah, that's the, oh. Yeah, the 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 uh, the, uh, the the projectiles just oh, okay. dink off of you. Okay. Rogar, your turn. Give me a the saving throw. Uh -huh. Okay, another success. Sergio? I go on and I use lay on hands. All right. Home, how much HP do you have? Minus two. <laughs> no, I, not minus two. I mean, how much in total? Nine is my max. So I give you nine HP. All right. Same things apply. A turn has to pass in order for you to fully recover. Because the near death experience is quite uh, unpleasant. Laura is nowhere to be found. Bowman takes another shot at you. Does not hit. The... I thought he was shooting at me for fuck's sake. <laughs> the swordsman raises his shield and stands at the top of the slope, right next to the bowman. The crossbowman starts backing up, uh, coming up the slope, and he fires his crossbow again at uh, Sergio. And hits him for... Plus one. Five points of damage. Uh, Sergio. Sergio, you take five damage from the crossbow bolt that hits you in the leg. And Rogar, you spend the turn coughing and wheezing and like trying to come to next turn, you'll be fully functional. Sergio, your turn. I look angry, angrily at the crossbow guy that just shot me. And he should be in reach. Right. Mm. Should he? Yeah, he probably yes. should. Yeah, he is. So I gonna return the favor. Oh shit! Roll the damage. Oh yeah, yeah. You cleave right on through him. The the sword. The sword. Uh, you eviscerate him, as the word. He drops down and falls into the river, which is running red with blood. Laura doesn't do anything. The bowman curses and fires at your back. Because you, you, Sergio, had to turn to attack the guy, right? Charge him. Yeah. And as such, did a 16. you take okay. a hit. Almost rolled a d20 again. Like that one time, remember? Yeah, yeah, sure. D6 plus one, you take four points of damage from the arrow in the back. Yeah, and the wounded swordsman runs down the hill towards Rhaegar and attacks Rhaegar. Rogar, sorry. Rogar, and hits Rogar for three points of damage. Rogar, Wait, you take. Is, is Rogar still in reach to, of me or not? No. You run to the crossbowman. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not sure how far he was away. Like, if he were just 10 feet, I would still be in reach. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rogar, it's your turn. I'll attempt to probably murder this bastard for trying to murder me. Yeah, it's 9 damage. Yeah. You slash at him and he's dead. Yes. Sergio, your turn. Because fuck that guy for stabbing me right after getting revived. So I walk up to the bowman as far as I can. Uh, you went up, and then yeah, you can reach him. You can attack but, him if you want. 
Oh, it's all I happening. Can, uh, take him yeah, this? it's all happening quite close. The crossbow was backing up, but he didn't get far enough yet. Because he tried to climb up the slope first. I'm just thinking about healing myself instead of attacking him. But... Yes, who just arrived back home. Fucking zealot, right as the clock hit. Oh, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> he broke on me. I actually walk up to him and say, Die. I cast in command. <laughs> oh, how does it work? Like he has a wisdom saving throw. No, he has a wisdom saving throw. And he fails it, and so he's desperately trying to swallow his own tongue. For a turn, right? Is the turn long thing? Uh, I have to check it, yeah, it should be. Yeah, so he's trying to swallow his own tongue for this turn. Laura's nowhere to be found. And wounded guy is dead. So Bowman loses his turn because of that, but he recovers, and yeah, he like dropped down, like started like desperate trying to choke himself dead with his tongue. Well, I hope you. Well, not my turn. But yeah, he he uh, he stands up once it finished, once it, the spell runs, of course. And now it's Rogar's turn. Rogar, what do you do? Can I walk up to him and attack him? Yes, yes, you can. Well, he should still be down. It's still the same round. Okay, so you have advantage. Go. Well, well, well I mean. He should be down to till thing till he can move that's next turn. Yeah, yeah. Good point, good point. So he's prone and as such melee attacks have advantage against him. Well I'm going to attempt to knock him the fuck out. Yes, don't kill him. <laughs> that's that's no. why I casted the command. We need someone to fucking interrogate. No, you yes. miss. Your turn. I want to knock him out. Well you have to get him to zero. You do have yeah, advantage yeah. though, so you try hitting him. That's a hit, give me the damage. Well, is he incapacitated or is he no, just, he's just prone. down? No, he's just prone. Yeah, four, no four. Four plus three, okay. We take seven points of damage. Laura's nowhere to be found. As the bowman, so he stands up, kind of like wildly, unstably gets up, and he slashes at Reg Rogar. Hits Rogar for three points of damage. Rogar, it is your turn now. Getting horribly pissed off at people trying to horribly murder me. I actually wanted May I disarm you to him? disarm Yeah, I actually wanted you to disarm him. But yeah. Can I disarm him? It is a thing, if I recall correctly. Yes, it is. If I recall correctly too, indeed. The only problem is I have no fucking clue how to achieve it. It actually doesn't say a damn thing in the... But, uh, while he's like commanded, you could have done it. That's what I mean. Well, now he's no longer so. There's not a damn thing in the, like, player rules, like the basic rules about disarming. So, with, um, grapple, I guess? Grappling only limits their movement, they can still attack. I know, but just with that mechanism. Yeah, I'm looking if there's anything in particular in the well, big there thing. Is, I think, a uh, move for the fighter that's called this arm that works. For the yeah, you can't disarm master. someone. I think it's just battle masters can do that. Yeah, you can't you can't disarm them. Yeah, you can grapple him. That's about it. Or you can kill him. That way, he doesn't need a weapon. Yeah. Or you can like knock him unconscious. Yeah, I'm gonna try Straight. knocking him out unconscious again, but no, fail miserably. No, you don't hit him, Sergio. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Laura is nowhere to be found. And now it's Bowman's turn. Don't fucking stab me. He slashes at Rogar Trust again you, and hits Rogar for I told you. six points of damage. You take six damage, Rogar. I... You, minus you... six health. I'm are you down? Three. Yes. You're at zero. You... There's no negative hit points. 
I'm gonna go fucking negative because everyone's trying to kill me. There's no negative hit points, there's no point going there. And uh, roll a death saving throw. This guy killed me twice already in 10 fucking minutes. Alright, one success. Sergio, your turn. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> oh, damn it. You're not hitting him for sure. Laura is gone. The bowman moves over a little and uh, tries to shove you off the cliff, off the slope, down, down into like, you know, down below. So he rolls d20 plus 1, and you roll dexterity, acrobatics or athletics, whichever is better. Okay. So you, so it would be five feet on a normal on a normal slope on a normal like flat ground, but this thing is going quite steeply towards the water level. So if you don't want to follow in the wake of Rogar and just roll all the way down to the to the water current, uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. See if you can hold your balance on the uneven ground. Nope. Nope. You tumble down. Tumble, tumble, tumble. And you splash into the water down below. And the guy starts running away. You lose track of him. Roll guard, give me a dexterity sa uh, death saving throw. I already have three fucking death saving throws. But no, 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 no. Because no. they, they reset after you heal up. So you're currently 1-1. Sergio, you are knocked down in the water. You're quite wet again. And Rogar is right next to you, bleeding out. I back off from the water rapidly. Can I still see the guy somewhere? Uh, do you go up? Well, you I have to go up to Rogar anyway. No, Rogar is down, down with you. Oh, he's still down. down. Okay. He, was, he okay. was on the edge of the slope. Yeah, I give him like my last lay on hands. How much do you heal him? One HP. <laughs> okay, so well, that's that's the last of it since I have like two times five, and I healed him nine before. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, and if yeah, if you climb up, uh, you don't see the bowman anywhere, but there is a wagon blocking the majority of your view down the road. That's like the only place he could have gone to disappear, other than magic means. Laura is nowhere to be found. Bowman is nowhere to be seen. Rogar, you're coughing and wheezing again. The cold water does you wonders, apparently. You'll be up in a moment. Sergio. <laughs> what do you do? I walk over to the... Well, I cast Cure Wounds on me, and then I walk over to the cart. Mm -hmm. You look behind the cart, and you just see the guy just bolting down the, down the road south. What's cool wounds with? Um, it's D8 plus your ability modifier. Just plus 2 or plus 4? No, it's a, it's your attack modifier. So, plus 4. 8 HP, okay. Nice. Are you back to full? Almost. Okay. Almost, you... yeah. I run after him, basically. Okay, so yeah. He, he puts like 90 feet between you two. Right? Yeah, roughly. Laura's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, he's just running. Rogar? Well, I go up the cart, and are the horses still alive? Yeah, they're a little fidgety, but they're stand just pretty much standing there. I climbed on top of the cart, the rider's part, and attempt to get them facing north. So turn the wagon around. Yeah. Shouldn't, there shouldn't be any trouble with that. And then I proceed to get off. Okay. Sergio? I'm running my 30 feet, so, so I should have a range of, what, 120? Uh, you're 90 feet away. 90 feet, okay. Gonna shove a javelin at him. That's a disadvantage, which cancels out because he's your Trying to hit his back. Okay, roll the hit. 
<laughs> damn it. Nope. What's going on? I Flies wide. Anything. I Laura's nowhere to be seen. Bowman is running. 150 now. Rogar? Well, I walk towards the northern end of the bridge and start shouting, Laura. Laura, come out. Okay, Sergio? Sergio. No. Um, last shot. Okay, you move 30 feet again, right? Because you want 20s. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Nope. You like, you, you like, you try to throw the javelin as far as you can, but you accidentally hit, hit your shoulder with the back end of it, and it kind of flops right next to you. At this rate, you're going to be throwing backwards. Rogar, you hear some. Like uh, you hear some leaves uh, rustling to 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 your right, and you hear Laura shouting. Is it safe? Kind of. Get on the wagon. We're getting out of here. All right. She I gets. I say as I retreat back to the wagon. All right. She gets out of the uh, of the brushes of the brush and comes towards the wagon. Bowman is running! Rogar, your turn again. I get on the wagon and urge the horses to start moving forward. Alright. Sergio? Well, not as fast pace, just like slow pace anyway. Mm -hmm. Sergio? I run after him. So, so, are you going to try chasing down the Bowman? Yes. Okay, so we're going to do opposed uh, opposed athletics checks to see if you can catch up with him. Uh, basically, we're going to be keeping score, and if one of the sides beats the other by three successes, then you know either the bowman gets away or you catch up with him. Okay. Okay. okay so roll the first one. <laughs> 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 okay, so we will count this as <laughs> we will count this as two successes for you. Okay, roll again. You catch up with him. Yeah, if you you can attack his back now, if you want. Uh, what's the range? Fucking drop no, him you or you're right. You're right, Adam. You caught up with him. Your your sword your soldiering past allows you to catch up with the guard. Oh, okay. You can... Well, not soldiering, but. Since Paladin don't, doesn't really do soul showing, but yeah. Well, some sort you of might... combat fast. You were a soldier before you came a Paladin. Problem solved. <laughs> well, you can run him down. With your attack, attack, but yeah. Yes. Okay, damage. Yeah, factor, but hey. Are you cutting yep. him with your sword? Well, well, not with the sharp side, but like. Okay, so I want you're to knocking knock him, him out. down. Okay, so you knock him out. Yeah, he's knocked out cold. And scene, not scene. Uh, fight concluded. Do I see him if I glance behind my back? Yeah, it's like I 200 feet the down cart the road. After I see him getting knocked the fuck out, after I look back again. Yeah, Laura. Laura sat down on on the. No, no. Uh, yeah, Laura sat down. Uh, right, uh, right next to you on the driver's seat. And you stop. And yeah, Sergio, do you drag the guy to the party? Well, I disarm him and I drag him back to the Wagner. I am the fuck up! I shout at him while he's dragging him towards us. I can. I we can do time. that while we drive. It's. It's faster this way. Fine. If he wakes up before you get here, I'm cutting your balls off. <laughs> First, you would have to hit. <laughs> yeah. I... No, wait, no, wait, what? You guys yeah. join up and see. We're right. over time a bit. It, we're gonna finish this uh, later. Okay, uh, this went well, I think. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Going twice. Yeah. For I mean... 10 minutes, fuck yeah. Good. So I'm gonna. Divvy up the XDXP really quickly because you killed a bunch of guards. 
go here. I have here. no idea how much is my basic current XP for level 2 even, so... Also, we did like a quest. We should get paid for that. The too. quest is not over yet. We're still in the quest. So for now, just write okay. down the experience that you get for killing the two guard. Uh, the not the two guard. You get like five, right? Five guard. Each of you get. Where's the calculator? My God, Windows 10. Come on. And I overcame the fear of water too. One on your bonus two. XP. Okay, every one of you gets 62 experience points for killing five guards. What? Yep. There will be more once you finish the quest. How much is the base XP for level 2? I don't even... 300. You start with 300 XP and now you get 62 XP on top of that. You get more once you finish the you quest. Know, you know, in Zoom's campaign we are like, here's 1000 XP. Here's 1,500. Here yeah, we but are like, here's 62 XP. <laughs> what? You did one fight <laughs> with a bunch of guards this All session. Right. All right? As we found out where Dora was, maybe. If, like, of... you, look, if you kill a stone giant, then you would have gotten a fact on. But you killed uh, just some guards, and it's just an episode in a longer adventure, so it's fine. There will be more stuff to do. Just remember, you're you know, a smaller group, so different things are more challenging. And yes, so also we get more XP. Yeah, we are. Also we done. kind of like um, had the thing with the the the, the, the barkeeper. We kind of defeated him too, right? Uh, yes, you it should be like five <laughs> each. <laughs> yes, you gave beef to a random citizen. Good job, good job. Mm. Now, for now, we're uh, for now we conclude here, and we. We'll have at least one more session to conclude this. Because it's kind of... Yeah, we ended on a see you in the sequel type of moment, right? We always fucking end on that. Sometimes. Alright, we'll have another session. Sure, I just don't know uh, when. when. Maybe How next week. How did you week? like DMing this horribly small party? I very much enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed it. It Did was you horribly throw your plan out the window. Um, no, that that was that was the was that. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, we are going along one of the scenarios that I have prepared. So we'll. we'll I'm curious well. as to where it will lead next. No, we are too much of her murder hobos. It's fine. At least right now, we'll see what happens next. Maybe next right, week. Do you guys we have, have time? Cart. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Maybe Friday. Yeah. No, sure. Friday is, I think. I have no classes on Friday, Check. so that is fine for me. I have one class on Friday, but I finish. Oh shit, I don't. I think Friday isn't very really good for me. Okay. That's fine. To check, maybe it's next week or. Um. Week after. And how does tomorrow work out for you guys? A bit earlier than today, so that we finish at a more reasonable time? Works oh yeah, that works. Um, so I will have dinner at 2, should be home by 4, uh, yeah, 4 p.m. tomorrow. Sure, if I don't horribly forget about it, I'm actually sure. going to go and set an alarm for that. Alright, 4 p.m. I shouldn't be late. If I am late, I will try to contact someone. I will post a. I'll make a post on the DND group. Do you guys Hopefully want? Someone will join. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want uh, some more players? We can ask around. Maybe someone will want to come. Or are you? Are would you rather continue with uh, the two man style? It's working out, I think, pretty well. Oh, sorry. Dying horribly isn't exactly working out. Well, I mean, I saved you. Also, you like passed every single death saving throw. I mean, beside one, but still. Uh, yeah, you can bring somebody else in. Sure, just the XP for this should be like. 
Look. It's bit between us. <laughs> you got 62 for your part. You'll get more after you do more stuff. It's fine. Well, we still rescued yeah, her, which was the quest, basically. I'll Once figure out the experience. Get her bit. back. Yep. When it will be finished. Uh, the arc will. Well, we'll we'll see about the details because they're not fleshed out yet. I didn't know I had enough content for at least one session. Okay, so I'll I'll ask Calix, see if he wants to come, and I'll ask the guy that uh, didn't come today. Sounds good. Okay. Doom boat dead. <laughs> Okay. And with that... Then it turns out it's Steve. <laughs> no. He will proceed to punch everything. Yeah. No, it's not Steve. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. That's the only glorious thing about Teeth. He just proceeds to go and punch everything. <laughs> <laughs>